Hi and welcome to SharePoint Implement Ed's Policy and Procedure Management System. With SharePoint you can actually manage policies and procedure documents of your company through content approval process that's built into SharePoint Foundation, Server, and Enterprise. So let's see how we can do that in the framework of the SharePoint Implemented's intranet product. <clears throat> so here I'm logged in as administrator and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the engineering uh, department site and upload a policy in engineering and then I'm going to go ahead and approve it and then that will be visible to all end users and we'll see that whole process. So I'm going to go under departments and this lists all the different departments and of course I'm going to engineering. This is the engineering department homepage and what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to act as if I'm the contributor, I'm contributing to this document and also going to be the approver for this document. So we're going to develop a new policy or procedure. <clears throat> so I'm going to just upload this. Now of course it could be in the system already and we would be revising that policy but here I'm just going to go ahead and browse it and grab just a sample document and upload that. Now what's happening behind the scenes is we've created a content type called policy and procedure and this is being saved as that content type and that allows us to have additional fields like approvers, reviewers, when it expires um, so on and you can also uh, develop a quick workflow from there to remind you when things are expiring so at this point it's got gotten into pending status that means it's waiting for approval and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open another window here and in this window I'm logged in as an anonymous user so you can see that because there's no uh, there's that sign in button and if I actually go to the I would like to page where we have it set up so you can search policies and procedures um, you'll see that that policy isn't there yet so if I go down here remember I named it the engineering policy there's only four policies and um, it isn't there and if I even go in the read more button I won't see anything because there's just four and it's showing all of those four <clears throat> so at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and you see that right here I'm going to go ahead and go back um, to my administrator screen and approve this in order to approve this it's really simple you just check um, the policy in question and view its properties and right up on the ribbon you'll see several different options and one of them will be approve or reject and <clears throat> this will take me to the approve or reject page and you can see that it's pending right now and it's uh, not going to be visible to uh, users um, that don't have approve access so I'm going to go ahead and approve this and I can put some comments and you see it's also versioning this uh, document automatically so at this point it's been approved and that's version 1 and now it should be visible to everyone else so let's go see here and refresh here first of all this count should go to 5 we're only displaying 4 at a time here so you won't necessarily see it here but we'll be able to search for it so you see that count updated to 5 and if I just search the word engine for example that's going to search through all titles of all of these different things including policies and procedures and return to us anything that matches that name and there's the engineering policy and of course we can click on it and it brings us the view form and then we can click on the actual policy and get um, we can open the document so that's how easy it is and uh, this 
system is built into SharePoint Implemented's intranet structure. And what this allows you to do is each and every department can actually start to build their policies in at the department level where they're doing the actual work. And when they're ready, it automatically rolls up all that information and for the end user the experience is very simple they just come here um, or any other page where this web part is and they'll search for policies and procedures and they don't have to worry about whether it's a, a, a policy that was developed in finance or IT or uh, HR and engineering they see all the policies in a very simple fashion thank you